Hello, I'm Agnes Brunson with Engineering.com. I'm here today at Stevens Institute of Technology on the banks of the Hudson River in New Jersey. Stevens is hosting the Business Model Innovation Conference, where thought leaders gather to discuss new ways to bring products to market. Where should students look when they are thinking of creating a meaningful innovation? I think the key in innovation is three things. First, you have to have a strategic intent, what I call a dream. A good example is the John F. Kennedy kind of man on the moon. Have a, have a big dream. Second is trying to understand in the external marketplace, where are the opportunities for innovation. And third is your own execution capability. So the innovation is really at the intersection of these three circles, your strategic intent, and the opportunity spaces in the external world and your execution capabilities. When the three meet, you have a successful innovation. Mark, how do you define the differences between invention and innovation, and which is more valuable? Well, by far, innovation is more valuable because in our definition, innovation means you've commercialized it into a market. There are real customers who are buying that product. Invention is the actual development, the creation of a new technology, uh, but not necessarily that it's been commercialized in a market. I use the example of MP3 technology. It was invented in 1992 and likely would have been able to be commercialized with the current technology, but it took till 1998 for the first company, Diamond uh, Technologies, to be able to uh, commercialize it in a real MP3 player. And do you think entrepreneur engineers should be looking to invent things based on seismic shifts in the market or on more basic unmet needs of the industry and consumers? That's an interesting question. I don't think they have to hold themselves to either one. I think they should have a passion on an idea, on developing a technology or uh, through their engineering skills, um, improving upon an existing technology or if based on their discipline, based on their where their path leads them to something that's groundbreaking, I think both are incredibly important. I mean, we tell companies all the time they need to continue to incrementally improve their existing products and services and sustain their business, but also breakthrough seismic shifts are what matters to move society and progress forward. Uh, that are in new spaces and new markets and uh, those are equally important and those define the future. So the opportunity for engineering students resides in both arenas. Malcolm, can you explain the connection between academic institutions like Stevens and the real world of technology business? Well, Stevens is a very unique place. We've been working on entrepreneur and innovation for the past 15 years. Uh, innovation is um, a unique, special uh, event at, at Stevens. We're trying to turn our science people into innovators. We've had quite a day here at the Business Model Innovation Conference. We've seen how innovative companies have to change the rules of business to drive their inventions into commercial reality. It's a great lesson for the students and for the rest of us who are in the business of innovation.